Hi everyone and welcome to my devlog. So today I want to share a project I made with two colleagues of mine with you guys. This is a university project. We were assigned to make a 3D first person puzzle solving game in Unity. So we started researching. We found some interesting stuff about non-Euclidean geometry and non-Euclidean games. In other words, these are games that bend reality and have different laws of physics. The, th the thing is, that's not what non-Euclidean means, and these games are actually Euclidean. Non-Euclidean means that straight lines are not straight. This means that two straight parallel lines can intersect. Of course, this is just a very, very brief explanation of non-Euclidean geometry. We actually found one game is trying to resemble what a non-Euclidean environment would look like. And it's the game called Hyperbolica, being made by the YouTuber and developer Code Parade. But it's really difficult to make this without making your own game engine, and I imagine making a game engine is not easy. Nevertheless, we found this cool game called Antichamber, a mind-bending first-person puzzle game made by developer called Alexander Bruce, which greatly inspired us. Since we were going for this kind of mind-bending game, we started researching some surrealism paintings to inspire us, and ended up looking at a staircase painting made by Escher, a very famous surrealism painter. We thought this could be a really cool 3D labyrinth for our game. Later we found out a game on Steam called Disoriented, So, let's start prototyping. I started by building this little puzzle. Basically the player is in a loop, ending up always in the same room. To break this loop, the player only needs to go back. Behind the scenes it looks like this. We also made this cool labyrinth which I'm going to explain how it works later on. We didn't have much time for making a better prototype, but we eventually did one. We also had to make the game design document, which took us some time. As for the story, the player plays a professional prison security tester in the future that is invited to test a new type of prison that traps its prisoners in their own mind. His job is to try and escape. The game starts with a cinematic, which I'm gonna play at the end of the video. There is a small tutorial at the beginning of the game. The player starts in the main hub. Each time he solves a puzzle, he returns to this hub. This hub is divided into three rooms. Each room has a number of doors that lead to the puzzles. The player needs to solve all of these puzzles to finish the game. So, for the first room, we have these growth puzzles. Here we just have a simple key card that goes into this terminal and opens the door. Next, we have also this card, but it's on top of the shelf. The player can't reach. To solve this, the player needs to pass through the tunnel to get big. Then, in order to open the door, the player needs to get to his original size. These scroll tunnels also work for objects in the inventory. If the player gets big or small by passing through the tunnel with an object, that object will also get big or small. So how did we do these tunnels? Without getting into much detail, we did this using render planes. Each tunnel has two render planes and two cameras that will render in the planes. Then, if the player enters the tunnel, he simply will be teleported to the other side, with his size modified. The camera's position and rotation is calculated by this script. I have also another script that handles the teleportation, but I don't think it's necessary to show and it has some hard-coded stuff in there, so it's not great. Since we still didn't know how to program shaders, we used a shader provided by Brachis in his portal tutorial video, which works just fine. For our second room, we have the labyrinth puzzles. 
we have two types of labyrinths, gravity labyrinths and memory labyrinths. What you're seeing now are the gravity labyrinths inspired by the game Disoriented. Here we rotate the world around the player instead of rotating the player. These are the memory labyrinths. The player can only see a few units in front of him and the objective is to find the exit. We achieve this illusion with a simple script assigned to the cubes. This script calculates the distance between the player and itself. Then, based on that distance, it scales the cube and moves it on the y-axis. This is not very optimized. I could use the prototype pattern to spawn the cubes or use the unity dot system that I didn't knew at that time. This labyrinth has two stages and it's big, so I'm going to fast forward. For the last room, we have just a small example of puzzle. We call this the portal cube and we achieved this illusion with some render planes. We have another three rooms just like this one, but with different objects. And each one of these rooms has a camera that is rendering to a plane in the main cube. Behind the scenes it looks like this. And this concludes the devlog. There are some things that I left behind so this video doesn't get too long. Hope you enjoyed and like the video if you liked it. I'm gonna leave you now with the cinematic. Hello and welcome to our own game. Hope you liked the video. Well then, let's start checking you up, shall we? Ha! Ah, don't bother responding. We can't hear you. Hmm. It doesn't seem like we're in any trouble. Mm, let me just check your vitals and yeah, great. You seem to be doing. As well as could be expected from someone in your situation. Well, you're surely feeling a little fuzzy headed and your short term memory is probably a mess. Uh, these are the expected side effects. But, oh well. Now then, let me read this short to light up your memory. Adam Myers, you were invited to Washington to test the security of the construct. Our newly developed prison has allowed us to control the subconscious of subjects and they may trap their conscious mind. That's where we are right now, and where you need to break through. Shall we manage to succeed in escaping? You'll be rewarded with a generous sum of an extra one million dollars after taxes. And yep, yeah, this is over. Hope you got all that. We'll now leave it alone to the earthing. Have fun!